girlfriend boring in bedroom. She only wants to have sex missionary. Maybe one tenth times she will do doggy. She won't give a blow job and she won't give a hand job. I've talked to her about it and she'll just say you don't need it. When we do have sex I have to kiss and seduce her for 20 minutes every time before she's ready. I don't actually always mind this but I mind that it is never reciprocated. In a year of dating and probably having sex 200 times she has seduced me twice. It's very boring. I understand if I wanted to pull her hair or something some people just do not like that. But a hand job once a week. Do people break up with people for this reason? We've been together a year and at first I thought she was just uncomfortable which is how she made it sound, but over the last few months she has said she just doesn't feel like doing a BJ or HJ because it doesn't do anything for her. To play devil's advocate, are you returning the favor by giving her oral and finger stimulation? Because maybe she is feeling that the sexual relationship is one-sided. Sexual incompatibility is a valid reason to break up. You shouldn't have to go without something you desire and she shouldn't be with someone who might make her feel pressured and uncomfortable. You're not sexually compatible. That's really the long and short of it. Yes, people break up because of this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Not having compatible desires and needs in the bedroom is a pretty common cause to break up. If you aren't happy now, you will likely remain unhappy for the rest of your relationship unless something changes. If she isn't willing to meet you in the middle, you obviously can't force her so your only other options are to accept it forever or leave. Do you go down on her and give her hand jobs? What is my husband up to? Me, 21F. And my husband, 23M, have been together for about two years now. I love him to death, but he's been acting off and strange lately. He's been going out at night every day since a little before Christmas, and that it was fine, albeit very annoying, until it was made clear that he was lying. Claimed that he was going out with some friends every night, but when we saw that around the holidays they said something along the lines of we should go out for drinks sometime since the bars are opening back up. As far as I know he has no other friends than these, and he has never been a social butterfly. Speaking of the holidays, I caught him a while ago making something late at night and it's been seriously confusing me. I found him pouring bleach in a bottle with other liquid clearly already in it. I asked him about it and he said it was supposed to be a small Christmas gift for someone, and I just assumed he was just gonna be messing with dyes or making a lamp or something until it wasn't gifted to anybody. I asked who he gave it to and he he said that it wound up not coming out good, which I would accept as an answer if there was any remnants left in any of our trash cans. I am so confused by this situation and just wanna find an answer even if it's one I don't like. Is there someone else? Is he good at chemistry? Has he recently bought an RV? If so, you may have a meth kingpin on your hands. But seriously, your husband is doing something seriously shady. Update 1, I was able to set up a tracker quickly through the Find My iPhone app. It ended up at a house that we inherited from his parents a few months ago. I think that's all I'll do for tonight, as this thread is beginning to stress me out a bit, and I just need time to think. I'm only gonna be able to post updates or reply at work during my lunch, breaks, or when he's gone. I'll continue to keep you guys posted. If this is real, it might be a good idea to let a family or friend know what's happening and maybe even stay with someone for a little while, until you figure things out. I don't know if your instincts are telling you anything, but if they are you should listen. Mixing bleach and rubbing alcohol can create chloroform. So I hear. Oh. I'm at a loss for words at this possibility. My heart's gonna be racing all day now, but I guess I could check later. There was a good amount in the bottle. Is there a girl locked up in your basement? Question mark. If Bundy's wife had had a redditl map. Caught my brother, 8M, playing with his button feces. Since about 6 months ago, he has been having accidents in his pants. 2 weeks ago he pooped his pants and had it smeared all over his chest. 
which everyone in the family was very confused about. This evening I, 18F, came into the living room to see him watching gaming videos with his pants pulled down and his hands in his butt. The room smelled horribly like feces. I asked him what he was doing and he got very defensive and said he was just trying to have fun. I don't want to give him any type of shame as a child so I immediately turned on my nice voice and encouraged him to wash his hands and his remote and reminded him to never put his hands in his mouth after doing that. I think maybe this is why he has his accidents and that it's been happening for a while. I'm afraid to tell my parents because he already responded to me very ashamed and avoidant and my parents are not the type to be sensitive about anything that is foreign slash uncomfortable to them. I'm not sure if this is merely a pleasure thing or if something else medical is going on how do i approach this without leaving any emotional scarring question mark he has no mental disabilities or anything edit told my mom she's adamant that he's only scratching his butt bc he doesn't wipe properly not sure what more i can do if she won't listen to my concerns Definitely tell your parents about this. He should see a doctor or a counselor. This could be an indication of some sort of abuse happening to him. A mother is disregarding it which makes me wonder if she, or their father, is the abuser. This is very common with child sex abuse. It more so concerns me that he said that he just trying to have fun why does he think it's fun? Implications of this are so very sad and disturbing. Frown. This requires clinical intervention. Have your parents tell the pediatrician and he will likely be seen for a physical exam and then referred to a child psychologist. This is not a minor issue you can handle at home and you want it handled professionally before he starts doing this at school or it becomes an even bigger issue at home. This will not stop on its own. Get him help. This is way above Reddit's pay grade but it is a common thing child psychologists slash social workers deal with. No, it's not because he doesn't wipe properly. This started in the last six months, there has to be a reason for it. I don't know what that reason is, but he can't have been wiping properly for the past four years and then suddenly be doing it wrong. Your brother needs medical and psychological help. Emphasize to your parents that he's putting your household at risk because he's likely getting fecal matter everywhere in the house. Children very rarely start these kinds of regressive behaviors for no reason. Whether it's abuse of some kind, or bullying, or anxiety, or a medical issue he can't articulate, or God knows what else, there's a reason behind it and it needs to be addressed by professionals. This is a pretty big red flag indicating possible sexual abuse, in a kid that age. I would tell your parents and have them bring him to a counselor or doctor. 